When Discovery bought the business and bought Eurosport and then brought me in, they gave me a very clear message. And they said, it's not just enough to change the business, we want to notice the change. And I think things like the Olympics are obviously on message in terms of getting you know, important, relevant content that you can localize for multiple people. But it also shows the change. And I think within the industry, the change that's happened in Eurosport in the last year has got an incredible amount of attention. And nothing has got more attention than the Olympic decision. So it's not just that we want to have a more relevant business, a more local business, a more premium business, but it's also important that people notice that change. I think um, rebranding is always a challenge for a company that's been around for so long in that you don't change your image quickly, you change your image slowly. And it was important for us that you had a sense of history behind the rebrand, but also that you saw a completely new direction. And I think that's been received really well, both in the industry and with the wider population, because you know, Eurosport clearly has changed and the brand refresh has, has gone with that change. And we didn't want to change the brand too early. We wanted to make some sizable changes in the business and then rebrand so that when people come to us, they'd see it as a different product that looks and feels a different thing. I think that's a really interesting question, you know, in that you, you see no sign of the premium rights bubble stopping. You certainly see far more inflation still coming around the big rights in the industry. But also you see far more people being involved in the process, far more direct-to-consumer experiences, um, far more splintering of the rights so that people take those rights in different ways, whether it be on devices or whether it be on TV. Um, so I think it's a real time of change. Uh, and I think one of the big things about being part of the Discovery Group is that hopefully we're positioned well for that change. You know, we have free-to-air channels, we have an OTT platform, we have a, a free website, which is the most distributed website in Europe. Um, so I think having use of all those tools is really important as the rights model does change. My greatest sporting moment was when I was nine years old and uh, I came from a small village in Derbyshire and the team that I supported was Mathlock Town. So I have a professional team in Derby County and a local team in Mathlock Town. And Mathlock Town were the consumer underdogs. They never achieved anything in their entire history. And then in 75, 76, they had one year of greatness. And they ended up going to Wembley and winning the uh, non-league FA Cup, if you like, the FA Trophy, against Scarborough 4-0 at Wembley. And a fantastic day out for the whole town and it touched so many things about sport that matters to me in that I was there with my dad and my granddad and my uncle so it was a shared community experience but you were also part of a wider community of fans and basically the whole town went to London for the day and came back and celebrated and uh, enormously formative experience because such a great day I think it stays with you forever.